The Democratic Alliance is the second biggest political party in South Africa. They are the official opposition. And in the 2019 national elections, the ANC got 10 million votes and the DA got, I think, about 3.8 million votes with the EFF coming third at 1.8. I think the DA got 3.6 million, the ANC got 10 million and the EFF got 1.8. Anyways, the Democratic Alliance Twitter handle is at uh, our underscore DA. And on the 27th of January 2024, at 11.34, they posted this tweet, which was a quote of their leader, John Stianazen, saying this. What did Banyaza Lesufi do? Banyaza Lesufi is the premier, premier of Gauteng. He used to be the MEC of education. What did Banyaza Lesufi do? He took your tax money to buy ill-fitting PEP stores uniforms for untrained cadres and pretended that they were crime wardens. What kind of person pulls a drunkard out of a shabin, gives him a uniform and a weapon, and then unleashes them onto a community? It's got 2.5 million views as I, as I read this. Um, this was my response to the, to the tweet. I thought this post, because I posted the response like a day later, I thought this post with its racist undertones would be removed by now. But I guess the DA is hell-bent on scoring perpetual own goals in an election year. You guys really don't want to run this country and you really don't want racial cohesion. It's really sad. My tweet had gotten 33,000 views at the time and a lot of people kind of uh, responded to that as well. And I need to explain to people that don't understand because I, a lot of people responded to me, white people, some of them that seem to not understand why this is a racist thing to say. Dan Corder, who's brilliant on TikTok, made a video about how this is racist. Vusi Tembiwai was tweeted saying, this is ridiculous. I know Siv Ngesi, brilliant actor, brilliant comedian, has been pointing out some of the DA's racist tweets and comments and those kind of things. Let's go through it. Panyaza Lesufi, premier of Gauteng, not liked by a lot of people. Apparently, he pretends to be doing a whole lot of things, but he's not really doing anything. He's out there. He's visible. It's pretty great. And every now and then, he does some work that is actually commendable. He was brilliant as the MEC of education and arguably the most famous one in the country to a point where people wanted him to be the minister of basic education. Took your tax money, always upsetting, of course, for us to pay tax, to buy ill-fitting pep stores uniform. What is wrong with pep stores uniform who actually have a monopoly on school uniform? Are you saying they're inferior? Or is it a hit at the poor black class who obviously rely on pep for their clothes? What is wrong with pep uniform? John Sianese needs to explain, by the way, PEP is under PEP Corps, which is owned by Christo Visa, one of the wealthiest South Africans who falls under what's known as the Stellenbosch Mafia. What's wrong with PEP uniform? And are you saying all kids that wear PEP uniform are inferior kids? Untrained cadres can definitely be questioned. Were these people adequately trained? Some people have said they're not. That's okay. I'll allow that. And pretended that they were crime wardens. These are people that have been patrolling neighborhoods and Banyaza Lesufi was trying to resolve the crime issue by finding especially young people to give them opportunities to work and eradicate crime, crime and be visible. Something we've all desperately been asking for. What kind of a person pulls a drunkard out of a shabin? A drunkard out of a shabin. So every single crime warden that Banyaza Lesufi found is a drunkard, an alcoholic, which is how John Stianazen sees mostly black people that were part of this thing. Out of a shabin by using the word shabin and using the word let's say tavern and not using a pub and not using a liquor store or a whatever you intentionally speaking to a black class a drunkard out of a shabin wearing pep uniform very very racist gives them a uniform and a weapon and then unleashes them onto a community in a country with so much crime where we're constantly asking for solutions the DA is struggling in the Western Cape with the Cape Flats to solve problems. But John Stianazen would rather point at Banyaza Lusufi, which he should do because the ANC is corrupt and incompetent. But then he does it using racial undertones. And the DA sees nothing wrong with this tweet. Very, very shocking. And I hope my explanation gives a bit more clarity on the issue that a lot of us have with this tweet. And I hope the DA will reconsider and remove it and apologize.